What's up fam, Rahim here and this is DJI's new action cam, the Osmo Action 3. And just to let you know what you get in the box, you'll get stickers, the protective cage, mounting gears, a Type-C to Type-C charging cable, your battery, quick start manuals and of course the camera itself. They have gone back to their rugged rectangular format. Now both front and back are touch screens. You can still use the magnetic mounts from the previous gen which makes it very easy for you to mount from horizontal to vertical. Bigger sensor, higher frame rates and better stabilization. I'm gonna run out of breath. So if you want more info, check out the link in the description. Right now, you're going off-road. Alright guys, cuts full, weather is coming in, so I'll just summarize quickly. So some of the things that I really like about the uh, action tree is the obviously the stabilization is just awesome, alright? It really took the hits and bumps on this track. Um, yeah, something different. I just really wanted to test how well it could be uh, mounted on an RC car and yeah, how well it will perform in the stabilization department exposure meter now that's something i really appreciate having in the menu itself so that on the ground itself i don't have to estimate is it too bright is it too dark right i can already see the exposure is it neutral positive negative right especially when i'm changing filters and about the manual settings menu i like that there is actually a range of auto iso settings right you have your 100 200 400 so on and so forth but you also have a ranging like i just want the iso to be kept at 100 to 6400 or something like that right so there is ranges of iso that you can work with especially when yeah there are weather changes it's like dark there and very bright over there and so i appreciate having these options in the manual camera settings menu else is also the mounting that you can easily choose from landscape to portrait and this is especially useful for those that are filming horizontal and vertical formats within one session i really like the touch menu because it's as easy as just tapping in the center of the screen and just pulling down pulling up to get your menus and same goes when you want to uh, swipe it up to exit the menu and finally the best part is that filters are ready for the action tree it's not something that you have to wait for the aftermarket scene to come up with aftermarket filters because freeware has already made filters for them and if you want to know more about that you can go and check the links in the description and that's just some of the things that I like but it's not the perfect action cam because there are some things that I do find that either could be improved I just plain out hate is that uh, okay one of the things is about the rubber ring it helps to screw in screw out the lens filters but the thing is it's something that is easily removable all right and I believe over time it will eventually uh, loosen and you will just you will just lose it along the way so kind of what's the point why didn't you make like filters that would have better grip and the next thing here is about the cage. Now I did say I like that you can easily uh, mount it from landscape to portrait, but 
you will need to have the cage on the cam itself. If not, the only option for you is a landscape mount. You can't go to vertical because there's no uh, hinges at the side. Hinges, notches, whatever, the, the place for the magnetic clip to clip on. And another thing about the cage is that if you needed to assess, let's say, okay, you ran out of battery or your SD card is full, you want to assess the internals to swap them out, right? You will have to take a three step you gotta unclip from the magnetic base take off the cage open it up to take out your sd card or swap out your battery okay memory card full that's my mistake but swapping out batteries is a norm with action cams all right you you are expected to carry a lot of space uh, a lot of inconvenient steps to swap out the batteries okay this last point is something i'm not so sure whether i like or dislike it is about the filter screw mount right it is um yeah secure right airtight but it does leave some room for error for the user especially that you really gotta find the nice perfect biting point in order to get the filter to screw in you made a mistake and you may have just stripped the threads so that's something that i kind of wish you yeah lah, go with the clip in clip out kind of filters but give and take probably that may not be as secure Okay, so my thoughts about the action cam, obviously it is built rugged. I'm glad that they went back to the rectangular design. It just makes sense, right? Um, the action 2 kind of had this uh, metallic finish and yep, very nice and handsome. But I didn't feel it could take as much bumps and beatings as this camera can. Well built, camera quality is good, slow-mos are awesome, 4K 120 FPS. 1080p at 240 fps the choice of having slow mo frame rates in an action cam is just plain crazy stabilization is just battery smooth and i really like that you can horizontal to vertical mount in just simple clip unclip right Un unlike needing to screw unscrew or even some other action cams right i wouldn't want to mention any don't even have options to mount it vertically all right that's all i have now if you want to know more click the link in the description and with that i'm going to wrap it up right here if you've liked this episode do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already chat with me i'll get back to you as soon as i can pilots as always i'll see you in the sky peace